and the wall ace. A fish this size is able to travel 85 miles upstream uh, in the Missouri River and uh, be available to anglers up there. Researchers are using radios to track fish movements in the Missouri River between Helena and Great Falls. And what they're finding is highlighting the importance of the entire watershed. What we're finding from this work now is that uh, the radioed fish actually use this whole reach of river and um, it's much more important. The lower reach is much more important than we historically thought. They used to believe that fish would stay in the same area of a river for their whole life. But when they found a brown trout that traveled from the Sun River in Great Falls, more than 90 miles to a tributary near Wolf Creek, their assumptions soon changed. Keeping in mind that we're just looking at a small number of fish in this large river, but we know that if a brown trout can travel upstream 95 miles to spawn, that uh, we'd have to assume that any trout could do that. Certainly they all don't do that, but um, it just gives us an idea of what uh, these fish are capable of. Waldo! Right. This study, which began with monitoring trout, has expanded to include other species. It's important for us to understand what these other species are doing also, and studies like this will go a long way in, in providing information on these other species. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.